What's going on everybody? This video I'm going to show you how to find the cross product of two vectors using Excel. All right. So let's go ahead and center up, make it where the everything's centered in the row. So let's let's do vector A is one, three, four. And we'll have vector B is two, seven, negative five. What did I do? Let's see. Two, seven, negative five. All right. And so the cross product. All right. So this is where it gets kind of, <clears throat> it can get kind of, tricky well not really tricky but let's uh let's see let's move this down one oh need to change that to a b all right so remember whenever you're setting up to find the cross product you write the the elements of a you write the elements of b and then remember up here would be like the i j k all right that's what you would have all right and then remember you knock out this column and since we're knocking out this column it's going to be this times this minus this times this all right and then you knock out this column and remember it's minus this times this minus this times this it's a negative in front okay remember your now, I'm showing you this in Excel, but this is assuming you already know how to find the cross product. Okay, this is just a good way that you can check. And then you've got to knock out K, and it's this times this minus this times this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started doing this. So you've got equals. So in, in Excel, there's really no, there's no formula that's just going to spit out the cross product. Okay, you've got to know how to find it, but you can just use Excel to, to quickly do it. And that way, you know, if you're working on your, if you're working on your homework or something, you know, and you've got to do a cross product, you can just come up here and quickly change these numbers and it'll give you the answer. All right. So we're, we're going to, we're going to, uh, knock out this column. So remember it's this one times this one minus this one times this one and you hit enter and you get negative 43 so remember this is negative 43i now i'm going to show you something else that might you know you don't have to do this but i think it, it might help you I'll show you when I get all the formulas put in. Well, no, let's just go ahead and do it now. So we know it's negative 43i, right? So if you want to, you can add an i on the end. So just come up here and click on the, on the negative 43 where your answer is, and then come up here in the formula bar and pick there. And I just put a space there and do the and symbol, space, and then quotes, and I'll put a space, and then the letter I, and then close quotes. I just put a space right here between the quotation mark and the I, the first one. I put a, uh, I put a space there just so it'll separate it from the, from the number. And so we hit enter. And you can see there's an I. Now, I don't know why it's doing this, but it's putting a capital I there. But I think if you come up here, click in there again, and change that to an I, it'll do it lowercase. I don't know why Excel's just automatically capitalizing it, because I didn't capitalize the I in the formula. All right. And then we'll do the same thing here. So this is going to equal. So remember, the sign changes. So it's going to be minus. So I put a negative and then 
parentheses. So we're knocking out this column. So it's going to be this times this minus this one times this one. Close your parentheses, space and quote, space J close your quote and hit enter and then you get 13 J and then for the last one equals so we're knocking this column out okay so it's going to be this times this so this times this one minus this one times this one space quote space that's just a, that space there between the quote and the letters just to separate it from the number all right so we got a k close quote enter what what did i do oh i forgot to put the and right there and and hit enter and so this is the cross product negative 43i plus 13j plus k would be your answer and once again you can see let's just change that 7 to a negative 2 and let's see what it does and you can see it automatically updates your answers for you so this is a good way to check your work you know to make sure you found the cross product correctly so there you have it so I hope this video helped check out my other videos give me a like share subscribe comment and I will see y'all in the next one Later.